we will look at matrix representations. As usual, we have the set S with 1, 2, 3, 4 and let's assume the relation R is given by this. It has six elements as you can see and I'm going to write the matrix as follows. As you can see, 1, 1 belongs to R and so there's going to be an entry 1 in the first row and first column of the matrix. There is 2, 3 and so there is going to be 1 in the second row, third column of the matrix and so on. 4, 1 has 1, 2, 2 has 1, 3, 1 has 1, 3, 2 has 1. The rest is going to be filled with zeros. As you can see, 1, 2 is not there in the relation, so it should be 0, so on and so forth. Alright, I enclose this as, as a matrix like this and as you can see, the labeling 1, 2, 3, 4 is um, sort of assumed, you know, if you know which is the first element, which is the second element, which is the third and then fourth. So I can consider omitting this. All right. I can consider omitting this. Fine. So let's go ahead and let us look at the example, the same example. And then I have the matrix as you can see. All right. So. Uh, when do I call this relation reflexive? As you can see, the relation is not reflexive because 1, 1 is present, 2, 2 is present, but 3, 3, 4, 4 is not present. So obviously this is not reflexive. Correct? Look at this. When do you call a relation reflexive? If the diagonal has all 1s. Isn't that obvious? So this implies that the relation is reflexive. Whatever is the relation? And you can put any values for the other entries here. But all you that all that you need to observe is that the diagonal should all be one, then you call it reflexive. Correct? Fine. Let's move ahead to symmetric relations. So as you saw, the relation that we discussed before was not symmetric, right? This is not a symmetric relation the exam in the example. So what will make it symmetric? Let's see. This diagonal element can be anything for a symmetric relation, correct? Only for reflexive it should be 1, 1, 1, 1. For symmetric, um, you need not look at the diagonal at all. Diagonal elements have nothing to do with symmetricity, right? What ensures symmetricity? It is the ij and the jth element. Let's illustrate. Here you see, it's called symmetric if you have a 1 here in the third row, second column. You should have a 1 when you have the third row, second column has 1. Then second row, third column should also have a 1 there. Uh, fortunately for us, this is true here. But if you look at the other one, the symmetric place doesn't have a 1 there. It has a 0, right? So if I make it 1, then it becomes symmetric. And this one also is present here, the fourth row and first column. But the first row and fourth column isn't one, so I make it one. As you saw, I made this one, and now the matrix becomes symmetric. Correct? This becomes a symmetric matrix. If I call this matrix M, just observe what did I do so far? I took some random relation and ensured that it became symmetric. This is just an illustration. This is just an illustration for what one means by a symmetric relation just by looking at a matrix. You look at the matrix, you say it's symmetric if ijth entry is 1 implies jth entry is also 1. Correct? So in the matrix form, this is nothing else but m should be equal to m transpose for a relation to be symmetric. So given a relation, all that you need to do is find out the matrix m of the relation and try to see if m is equal to m transpose or not. And that gives you a, 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 a programming way of checking whether a given relation is symmetric or not.